Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is The Raptor, and today I'm gonna do something that's a bit different from what I normally do on this channel. For those of you that don't know, both my brother and I suffer from color deficiency. And if some of you guys don't know what that is, or you don't really know what that means, that's basically the modern term for colorblindness. And the reason why that's the more modern term is because saying that someone is colorblind is a bit misleading. There are very few people in the world that actually suffer from true colorblindness. But when it comes to me, and most people, when someone says that someone is colorblind, colorblind is that I just have a bit of a problem with certain colors. Like for me, my specific color deficiency is red-green color deficiency, meaning that there are some certain reds and some certain greens that I have a bit of trouble telling apart. And there are certain other colors that I have some problems with, such as blue and purple. Sometimes those colors I have a bit of trouble telling apart. And some other weird colors like brown. I actually found this out pretty recently. For some reason I can't see brown correctly all the time. Sometimes it looks more purplish or something. I know it's weird, um, but that's how my eyes see things. Um, but now I actually have glasses that are supposed to help me with that. A few weeks ago, one of my friends asked both me and my brother Ryan if we wanted to be interviewed about these special glasses that are supposed to help us with color deficiency. And we said yes, we were interviewed, it was filmed, it's actually on the internet right now. There should be a link in the description to that video. That's basically our first impressions of the glasses, so if you're interested in that, go check the link in the description below, it'll take you right to it. The glasses were really cool, and Ryan and I actually got to keep a pair each, which was really unexpected and really awesome because in the real world these things can cost like over $300 in the US and where I live in Canada they're approaching $400 so they're really expensive so it was really freaking awesome that we got to keep these things for free and the reason why I'm making this video on my channel is because unlike the interview that was filmed again link in the description if you're still interested in that um, I've had these glasses for a very long time a few weeks um, the interview was talking about my first impressions of them but now I've had them for a while and I'm ready to do my real review view on these glasses. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited. Let's get right into it. Alright, so I have the glasses right here. They're in this little case thing. The brand is called Oxygen Amp or O2 Amp. You can't really see it here at all, um, but that's what it says on the case thing. Um, I'm just going to put them on real quick. And yes, these things are supposed to specifically help with my version of color deficiency, red-green color deficiency. So like I said, I've had these for a while, but I'll just put them on and, you know, I'll tell you what I see when I'm wearing them. So I just put the glasses on and, you know, you can already tell that these aren't your standard sunglasses. In fact, they aren't sunglasses at all. Don't use them for that. Um, you know, you can see my eyes. They're more of like a purplish color, the lenses. These things are sp specifically supposed to help with correcting color deficiency. Um, so now I'm just going to let you know what I see and what changes um, when I put the glasses on. So one question that you might all be having, and this was a question I definitely had before I put the glasses on for the first time, is um, why, you know, how does this work? How exactly does it help with specifically red-green color deficiency or any sort of color deficiency whatsoever? Well, you can actually see me figure this out in the interview. You can see my reaction to me figuring it out. And and here's how it works. Reds and greens are definitely by far the most changed colors out of any colors when I put the glasses on. Basically what it does is it ups the red values and lowers the green values. So what this does is it makes it me it makes it really easy for me to tell the difference between reds and greens that I wouldn't generally be able to tell the difference between. Reds look lighter, greens look darker, and thus they look more different. Which is really cool because it allows me to tell the difference between colors that I would have a really hard time distinguishing if I didn't have these glasses. But different versions of reds and different versions of greens are not the only colors that are affected by these glasses. Blues and oranges pop a lot more. What I can tell is that when I look at different blues and different oranges, they are so much brighter, they're so much more vibrant, they stand out more. Honestly, with these glasses on, blue and orange become my new favorite colors because they just pop so much, you know? They stand out from the rest and they look like amazing shades of blues and oranges. They really do. And when it comes to yellows and purples, the only two colors of the six primary and secondary colors that I haven't mentioned yet, I want to say that they're not affected that much. However, I also want to say that yellows probably go down a bit and purples probably go up a bit, but not to the extent that red goes up and green goes down. However, I have noticed that sometimes yellow light looks like red light, but you know, that's just something different. It's light, not really the colors of different objects. Another thing I want to say really quick is that when you first put the glasses on, you may be inclined to say that everything looks purple. Because 
because the lenses of the glasses are purple, when you first put them on, you, you do think that everything just looks more purpley, especially the lighter colors or like on white surfaces, they do look more purple than normal. However, when you focus on individual colors or objects that have individual colors, you can tell that that's not all they do. They really do change colors. And you know, eventually you do get used to it after a while, your eyes do adjust and it doesn't really look particularly purple anymore. So yeah, overall it doesn't really do it for that long, but it does do it when you first put them on, you may be inclined to say, oh, everything just looks purple, but really it doesn't. Okay, so now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, now I'm gonna talk about the good things and the bad things about these glasses, the positives and the negatives. So the thing that I really, really, really like about these glasses is that it's much easier to distinguish colors from one another. Because the values of blue pop much more than the values of purple, it's much easier for me to tell the difference between blue and purple. And like I said, there are certain reds and certain greens that without these glasses on I would have trouble telling apart, but with them all values of red are going up, all values of green are going down, so it's much easier for me to tell those colors apart as well. So really what I'm trying to say is these glasses do an amazing amazing job of distinguishing colors from each other. They really make the colors contrast more, and that's what they're supposed to do, so they're doing their job 100% correctly. However, now let's talk about the negative of the glasses. While these glasses do make it much easier for me to tell certain colors apart from each other, they don't exactly make those colors look right. They don't make them look the way they're supposed to. Here's what I mean when I say this. Blues and oranges, like I said, they just look more vibrant, they still look like blues, they still look like oranges, and then there's yellows and purples, which still look like yellows and purples at least most of the time. But when we're talking about reds and greens, the reds go up to the point where they almost look like they could be considered orange. And greens are lowered down to the point where they look like a ridiculously dark shade of green. In fact, the darker greens are toned down to the point where they don't even really look like green at all. They look more like a grayish color. And there are also other things, such as, you know, when you first put the glasses on, white values look more like purple. There are certain colors of light that look different, you know, when yellow light goes down to red light, stuff like that. There may be some other colors that have this problem that I'm just not aware of, but these glasses, they're not really supposed to make your vision in terms of color perfect. Really, all that the glasses are supposed to do are help you tell the difference between colors. And like I said, they do that really well. The reds go up, the greens go down, the blues and oranges are more vibrant. It's so much easier to tell colors apart from each other now. But they're not these miracle glasses that will make you see every color the way it's supposed to. And this honestly does suck a bit because there are some jobs that my brother and I simply can't have because of our color deficiency. And these glasses won't really help that because they don't allow us to see colors perfectly. Certain colors like reds and greens, they won't look like reds and greens when we have the glasses on. Sure, it'll be easier to tell them apart from each other, but they won't look like reds and they won't really look exactly like greens. So those same jobs probably still would not be available to us even if we did have these glasses. So now some of you guys may be waiting to hear my opinion on whether or not I feel that these glasses are worth it, you know, whether they're worth getting or not. And honestly, my answer to that is it really depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for glasses that are supposed to help you tell colors apart and, you know, see the contrast between colors much easier, then definitely go for these. These do that job phenomenally. If that's what you're looking for, these are the glasses for you. However, if you're red-green color deficient like I am, and you want to be able to have glasses that will completely correct reds and correct greens, you'll be able to see reds perfectly and greens perfectly, these are not the glasses for you. It'll be much easier for you to tell the difference between certain reds and certain greens, but they will not make reds look exactly like reds or greens look exactly like greens. Like I said, some reds will look more orangey and some greens will look more grayish. And money is also an issue. I mean, like in the US, like I said, these things can cost over $300 and in Canada, closer to $400. And all these things do is allow you to tell colors apart easier. Do you really want to spend that much money for glasses that really only do that? You know, like I said, they don't completely correct colors. However, even if some of you are now thinking that they're not worth it after everything I've said, I'm red-green color deficient and I do like wearing these glasses. While they don't correct colors completely, I do like going outside and looking around my house, you know, with these glasses on. They're not something I would wear all the time, but I do like looking at the sky, looking outside, looking at different colors, and seeing what the glasses do to them. So like I said, I wouldn't wear them all the time, but they're still really interesting and I still do like wearing them.
Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these glasses up to the lens of the camera and I'm going to aim the camera at certain things and that way you guys can get a taste of what these glasses can do to certain colors. Keep in mind though that this is just a camera lens so I'm not exactly sure if it's going to change what you guys will see and like I said, I am actually color deficient so what I see through these glasses probably will not be the same thing as what you guys see through these glasses. But regardless, I still want to show you guys, I think it would be really cool. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. Alright everyone, so now we're outside, and this is essentially what outside looks for me. This is my front yard. Um, yep, here we are. So this is what the outside world looks like. I'm sure you're all pretty familiar with it. Um, but now this is what it looks like with the glasses on. Alright everyone, so this is more or less what it looks like with the glasses on, at least from your perspective. Um, it's really hard for me to hold the glasses up right now, so... Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to move it up or anything like that. And again, I'm not sure if it looks exactly like what I see. It probably doesn't. Um, but you can already tell that there is a major difference from what you just saw. Um, so that's what it looks like outside. Like I said, I'll give you a few more seconds. And um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. And now we're going to go inside and look at different things and see how the glasses change the colors. Okay, so I'm not sure if that turned out exactly the way I wanted it to, but at least you guys get some sort of taste that it does change colors. And now I have my pop vinyl figure of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. And the reason why I'm using this as an example is because you can see he's got blue on the top and orange on the bottom. So when I put the glasses up towards the lens, I want you guys to see that, um, that it does make a difference, or at least it makes a difference to me. Maybe not through the camera, but... Yep, so here we go. You can you can kind of see that there's a difference. You can see that the blue has changed quite a bit. Um, you can see a tiny change with the orange. Um, it actually now that now that I think about it, it really doesn't have as much of an effect as when I um, when I put the glasses on myself. Probably just because it's a camera lens, and also your eyes can't really adjust to it the way that mine can. But even so, you can tell that there's a difference. Um, and yeah, so that's with Goku again, like off on. Um, so yeah, that's what he looks like. Now onto the next example. All right, so now I've got my flash pop vinyl figure and this guy's got a lot of red on him so now let me just put the glasses up yeah so you can yeah I can even tell through the um through the lens or through the um, through the camera lens that um that that the red does change you can tell that it goes much higher almost to an orangey color at least that's what I see you guys might not see it the exact same way because again you guys already see colors differently than I do um because I am color deficient after all unless you're color deficient too then you know it's it's the same or like red green specifically but yeah, so yeah, off, on, you can tell that there is a difference. Yellow's not changed that much. I do want to say it goes a bit darker, but you can tell that the red is changed quite a bit. All right, so now onto the final example. All right, so now this is the final example. This is my Piccolo Pop Vinyl figure, and I'm just going to put the glasses right over right now. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, through the glasses, it might not look exactly the same way. Again, like all the examples, it probably doesn't look exactly the same way how I see it, but you can tell that the green is basically sucked out as soon as you put the glasses on or maybe not, maybe just darker. But to me, there are certain greens that look almost like they're grayish. Um, but yeah, you can tell that there is a pretty big difference here, even with there being just a camera lens. Um, so yeah, these examples aren't supposed to be 100% perfect. I don't think they are, but they're just supposed to give you a little taste of what changes. So I showed you green and red, you know, how green goes down, red goes up, and I showed you how blue and orange pops more, especially the blue, at least, I, I think. I think blue pops more than orange does, but they still do pop. Um, but anyway, so yeah, those were the examples, and I really hope you found this interesting. So everyone, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know that this isn't the general type of video that I make on my channel most often, but I have been wanting to make this video for a very long time. I did think this would make an interesting video, and I still think these things are so cool, and I just wanted to share it all with you guys. And if you did enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I always appreciate the likes. Comment down below what you thought of it, what you thought of the video, what you thought of the glasses. If you have any more questions, you know, you can leave them down in the comments below. I should be able to answer them. And if you guys could subscribe to my channel, that'd be so great that would really help my channel out and I would love to have you guys along for the ride however your view is plenty of contribution anyway so thank you all so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I will see all of you guys on the next video peace out